Welcome to today's episode, my friends. It's all about how to get your mobile application onto your PC. Thank you for tuning in as always, because it's about time that I created this video here for you today. And that is all we're talking about is how to get your mobile applications on your PC so that you can play them today. With that, thank you for tuning in. As always, if you enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe. On top of that, if you got a question, if you got a comment, let me know because I love to hear from you as always and would love to see you in our amazing community and Discord server, my friends. And feel free to become a member or drop a super thanks. All right, so a couple things about this. As I said, here today, down below in the description, you will find today's timestamps where we will talk about all these different pieces on how do you get this set up, what application is this, all the fun things to play your mobile games on your PC. I'm super excited because as a content creator, this was super helpful for me. I've played on a number of them and I'm gonna give you my favorite one here today. Now, on top of that, I'll have all the links available to you down below that you can check out as well. So I don't have any referral stuff on them as well, so I wanna call that out for you here today. So like I said, drop a like and a sub or a super thanks and some fun other things to help support the channel. All right, so here we go. This is Cookie Run. Uh, Kingdom here today, a game that I am fully devoted to here, um, as you can see here on the channel. If you're looking for other games, there are plenty of other games, and I'll show you that here in a minute. And additionally, if you do like other content, um, I do create that. You can check out some of my other uh, YouTube channels. All right, so a couple things around this. Let's get out of here. I just wanted to show you that this you can move around. There's all kinds of different things with this particular application, which I'll talk about in a second. You can use your keyboard to get access to different things as well. They do a very, very nice job of trading up that experience of clicking on your mobile tablet, uh, your phone, any application, and transferring that and porting that to a PC experience. So what are we talking about here today? So first and foremost, this is it right here. This is the UI that you're gonna find here. Um, you can see, hey there, Mithras. These are all the different games that you can play in the library here, which we'll get to it here in a second, is Google Play. As you can see up in the upper left there um, of my screen, you get access to Google Play. Now, lots of fun games, lots of them that I play here as well, and a, a plethora of them for you to check out. Now, a couple things, not all games, not all apps are in this. They ha do have to be built specifically, um, so it is a sad thing once in a while. However, it is, in my experience, the best experience that I have had. We don't get drops, we don't have lag issues, we got all kinds of great gameplay experience as well, which is why I choose to use Google Play uh, games beta. Now, again, this is what your screen's gonna look like. You can have your library here, we can play it. I absolutely love playing Tower Adventures, another thing that we show here on um, the channel, and then many other ones that I have played in the past um, or have actually created some content for now uh, that you can check out on my channel. All right, so how do we get from all the way to playing to gain it set up so that we can actually play, my friend. So let's talk about that here. So first and foremost, if you are in the Play Store here, um, you can see it just like this. I'll pull this down so you can see the, the top. Um, if you're in the Play Store, you can find things like this. If you go to Cookie Run Kingdom, you can go install on Windows, install on more devices. Essentially, your account in Google Play is gonna help you have access to all these things. It's synced. Uh, to your email ID. I'm a huge fan of it. I've done it for a long, long time, um, which is also one of the reasons why I prefer um, the Google Play scenario. And then additionally here, right behind me, you can see that play on your PC. Now it does have a uh, official experience here. You can see this right there. Um, you have to have official Google experience. You get a bigger screen, level up with improved controls, seamless sync across devices, absolutely true. And if you want to, you can earn Google Play requirements. Now, a couple of things to pay attention to. These games are built with minimum requirements here. So right now we have this OS Windows 10. You need this much storage, solid state drive, 10 gigabytes of storage space, graphics, processing speed, memory, Windows admin account, hardware virtualization must be turned on. We're gonna come back to that here in a second because that's a big piece again for that setup. Again, many things that you can play here and a lot of times you're gonna get these special offers um, if you sign up for something like a Cookie Run Kingdom here um, or additionally throughout like the Tower of Adventures where if you're playing on a PC, they may do something very, very nice for you where as me, 
the number one free-to-play player here, as I like to say. We don't have to spend money, and we can absolutely get and take advantage of all these freebies to increase our experience and our account. So let's go to the next thing here because it is very important as we continue on in our journey. So if you are looking for the different picks, you can certainly search those, like I said before. Here again, we have a number of them. Featured games on PC, you can see a ton of them here. We got Cookie Run, Tower of Adventures, you got Clash of Clans, you got Final Fantasy. There is a lot of stuff. We got the Seven Deadly Sins. Really enjoy that one too, by the way. Um, haven't made content for it, but stay tuned maybe. Um, and again, you can see where you get access from on the top here of the different pieces as well. And certainly feel free to watch my content. A great way to stay up to date is like and subscribe. Um, and if you want to do more, please feel free to be a member or super thanks and check out some of my other channels. All right. So again, what does this mean? So we've, we've seen the game. We've seen how you can find the games. We've heard of Google Play Beta. We need to get it set up. Uh-oh, here we go. Take your mobile gaming to your PC. So here you go. To get there, you can go to this right here, play.google.com, Google Play Games. Again, the link will be down below for you. Take your mobile gaming to your PC. Here, all you gotta do is click this. It's gonna download um, for you. And here's all the stuff that you're gonna get. Android mobile games now available on PC. Like I said, you can see all these different games, super fun, level up with improved controls, and it is awesome. I'm telling you, it works really, really nice. Graphics are great, the experience is great, all that fun stuff. We did talk about those system requirements, but again, if you're curious, you can go over on the top and look at the minimum requirements. Um, it's right here, I'll pull it down so you can see that, there you go, um, of what's needed. So again, download beta, frequently asked questions. If you got more questions around all these different things, you can find it here. Um, personally, again, I've used it a ton, feels safe, security-wise, all that fun stuff. Um, same thing if you're looking for your, your kids, um, those kinds of things. Now, again, I'm not a security expert. However, I haven't had any issues uh, with using this application personally. All right, so how do we get this going? So now you've downloaded it, you got the minimum requirements, we do have install and setup. So a couple things on this, you can go to help um, if you need to support questions, this is how it works. So you need to install and set up Google Play Games on your PC. If you meet the minimum requirements, which we talked about, you can begin installation on your Windows computer, go to play.google.com dot uh, play dot games which we talked about click download install the app open the downloaded file then follow the instructions so again once you download it to your downloads if that's where you have it or somewhere else click it open and you can start the download now again it a lot of it's going to happen in that screen as well so keep that in mind the original one uh let's find it right here so you can see a lot of those applications and those things as well all right so next here to install the app open the download file and follow the instructions the installation can take a few minutes again we have 10 gigs of space you're getting those minimum things essentially it's like a virtual pc in a pc kind of a thing well really yeah, you know app application uh, tip if your computer doesn't meet the minimum requirements you will be notified and you won't be able to continue i'm so sorry next this is the big piece i was talking about here set up virtually virtualization settings to play mobile games on your pc windows virtually virtualization settings must be turned on now this is actually pretty common um, against a number of things so other applications if you're not going to use google play um, ones that i've used um, you also still need to go through this this one is called uh windows hypervisor hypervisor platform is turned off if it is turned off you're prompted to turn it on during installation in order to do this you need to restart your computer for this setting to take effect if Windows, Windows Hypervisor platform is turned on already, you won't get this prompt. So maybe many of you have done this. I did not do it. I had to do it. We'll come back to this here in a second. Before you install Google Play Games Beta on your PC, again, CPU virtualization must be turned on in your computer's BIOS settings. So very, very important there as well. Now, in order to get in there, you need to sign into your account. So you need to have a Google Play or Google Gmail, whatever account. Um, so you got all that stuff. I like it because it syncs across, doesn't necessarily be tied to a uh, PC, your phone, whatever. You got all your stuff in one place in the cloud, right? All right. So also we have additional troubleshooting installation errors here um, to address. I'll leave that there uh, again so that you can see that. Um, and then if you want to do purchases, you can certainly uh, do that as well. Um, I am a number one free to play player. So there you go. 
figure it out. All right, so how to get to your BIOS. So here we go, how to get to BIOS Windows 11. Now this is similar to Windows 10 as well. The easy way to do this is simply hold the shift key and then click restart from the menu. When your computer restarts, it will bring up the Windows recovery environment and then from there you can navigate across. So a couple things here, we can turn this down. I love the AI overview, maybe many of you don't, but I do. Um, here it gives us a nice summary. There are multiple ways to access the BIOS, basic input, output system on your Windows 11. Now again, this also works for Windows 10. So I just wanna call that out. I am on a Windows 11 PC, um, including restarting your computer and pressing specific key or using the advanced startup options in Windows. Restart and press a key. When your computer is restarting, press and hold a key that corresponds with your manufacturer's BIOS. These are the typical ones, F1, F2, F10, delete or escape. Now, again, it depends on what you have. I believe I'm on Asus. Um, so that's, again, my board and all that stuff, which is gonna pop it up. Um, and then use the advanced startup options here. You can also use these advanced options um, to access the BIOS without pressing a key during boot up as well. So giving you a couple other ideas and other shortcuts. The BIOS, just for those of you that may not know what that actually means, is a built-in operating system that controls how your computer starts up and operates during the normal use. It's important to understand how to access BIOS to troubleshoot and configure your PC's firmware settings. So yes, it's not just Windows, there's another so it's called BIOS firmware in your computer to get it going. All right, so now we've got there, what else do we need to do? Well, we need to turn on that virtualization like we said. And in this scenario, it is called hypervisor. So in BIOS, now it's not always, doesn't always go by that. Um, it's that CPU virtualization, like I said, it's gonna depend on your specific BIOS, your computer setup, all that fun stuff. In general, this is exactly how it is gonna work though, is to turn it on in your BIOS, you can try these steps. Restart your computer, enter the BIOS. So we've talked about those two. Now what you need to do is find the section for CPU configuration, advanced or security settings. So these are the three key ones that you can find in the BIOS. Generally, it's gonna be toggling up and down, so forth, those kinds of things. Um, and then you need to locate the virtualization setting that we just talked about. Change the setting from disabled to enabled. Like I said, in the setup, it will let you know if you already have it. So you don't have to worry about it at that point. If you've done it, this is how you can access it if you need it. Then once you enable it, you save and exit the BIOS. If your computer has multiple virtualization options, you can check your CPU documentation to find out which features are best for your needs. So if you need to tweak it and do all these other things, that is also available to you there. It is gonna be very computer specific, BIOS specific, CPU specific, we're not gonna go into it. And then again, you can also enable virtualization in Windows 10 by going to settings, then update and security, then restart now. So another way to kind of do it, which it did talk about a little bit before, from there you can click troubleshoot, then advanced, and then UEFI firmware settings. After clicking restart, you can select virtualization, enable it. Some computers may be, need to be restarted after enabling virtualization. I would just recommend doing that and resetting, my friends. So, whew. That is a mouthful here for you today, ongoing from right here to a game. Yes, like Cookie Run Kingdom, my friends, into Google Play Games Beta, and all the way back to how do we install and find our games and play Google Play Games Beta virtually here on your PC. I absolutely positively love this. And I wanted to share this here with you today because I get so many questions all the time about this, my friends. And it's very important for me to showcase that to you here today. It was finally time. And with that, my friends, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you still got a question, if you got a comment, please certainly reach out. Feel free to join us in our amazing community and Discord server, my friends. Lots of great help there all the time um, across Cookie Run, across a number of games, across an amazing community. So thank you to everyone so much. And lastly, I just wanna say thank you. Thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, on top of that, I just wanna say thank you for your support. Thank you for the likes and the subs, as always, as we continue to grow. Um, on top of that, thank you for your super thanks. Thank you to our members. Um, and on top of that, if you're looking for that, we have memberships available to you. You can click the super thanks in the video. Additionally, a like and a sub goes a long way. So thank you so much. And don't forget, we have a swag and a merch store. 
And we also have affiliate links that you can check out. The links for all this stuff here, like I said, though, are not affiliate links. Um, and with that, um, I just want to say, don't forget our socials, at me, chat me, stay connected. I love showcasing your stuff here on the channel, um, answering questions, all those kinds of things, just like today's video. And with that, I wish you the best, as always, in an amazing gaming experience, going from mobile to PC here. And as we say here on the channel, my friends, until next time, keep on running.